and so what we have emerging is the, the line the line flags. The line flags. This is made from butternut wood, and it's probably over a hundred years old. It would have been used by pioneers. Uh, I should point out, if you overread it, I have one sample here that is overread. It's hiding away on me or something. Here it is. It's smaller. <laughs> There's no fiber left in this, so you can't overwrap. Uh, so if I break this, it's just going to break into little bits and pieces. No fiber left. Wow. So you either to do writing or water writing, you definitely can overwrap. The remarkable thing is, I have some of these outside. And they survive for a number of years. There is a very short fiber in this, but in industry, I'm having a bit of difficulty getting that. Uh, through chemical physical processing, you can create a very interesting paper. It's just like hardwoods and softwoods in the wood uh, wood paper making. And that, that's something that somebody one day could probably explore to make, uh, oop, I guess I had a thing here that sh through my big vigorous actions. Let me just run a bit of the do rapid slides through. And you, you can see that it hasn't been rapid quite as efficiently as here. Um, sometimes it's better to under this because you can always put it out for a little bit of further writing. And that would be much better than just letting it completely get destroyed. No, this is a good thing. Whoops, there it goes again. <laughs> Is that the one from the well, field, or is that? Well, I left it behind. Oh. This had a couple of uh, natural rubber washers <laughs> that kept this together, so Teddy can spring apart. I guess if I, I held it here, I got my hand. Yeah, that, that's better. And all the same kind of flag? Mm -hmm. All of these are fiber flags. Uh, I have the names written on here. So the next step would be to take a scutching knife. Again, that's probably 100 years old. It has a really neat propeller shape. And this one has a neat, like to hold Priscilla. Yeah. It has a nice feel to it, just the way you hold it. No. <laughs> okay, it's, 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 just don't hit me. <laughs> so what happens is you can slice the extra size free uh, by cutting down on them. You see a lot of them are, are now coming free. So that's the scutching board and the scutching knife. Uh, This isn't quite there, but because we've almost run out of time, let me take this over to the one heckle I brought here. And uh, here again, you want to have a tetanus shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is then drawn through the, the heckle here. And what may happen is that some of these shorter fibers are going to be separated out and they're going to be called toe. They certainly have equal value to make handmade paper out of, and also for spinning and weaving. Uh, but I'll be able to retrieve the really long fibers this way. 
when they were doing it industrially, though, they seemed to discard the that type of fiber. No. No, they didn't. The, when we were seeing the film, they didn't. Yeah. No, no, the, the short toe and the long fibers are both absolutely spinnable and weavable. But there, there's a slightly different process used. We're getting there. So the term toehead comes from that? I'm sorry? The term toehead? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is incredibly strong. Like, there's no way we could break that. And it's, uh, both hemp and flax are, when they're wet, they're even stronger. From that, I have a number of different heckles, some finer than this. I couldn't bring them all along. I think this is adequate to show you what's happening anyway. Then you can run it through a finer one, and it just gets finer and finer until uh, finally it's, it's as fine as a, a baby's ha a hair. So how do you know when to stop? Well, it depends on what process it's being prepared for. Right. Uh, so Alexandra Satirier apprenticed with Douglas Howell. He did have some secrets that he, but because she was able to uh, watch every step he was taking, he would take, you could try this, and just dampen something like this, bunch it up into a little ball and toss it into the beater. Mm -hmm. And then by with a bit of patience, with maybe you need a good beater to do this. Uh, mine works. I don't know if yours does, David. <laughs> I think it would. With a bit of patience, dude. And uh, it'll break down without cutting it. Yeah, I was very interested when we, uh, Helen O'Connor and I visited Amanda Degener and uh, 